Morning guys, welcome now to day three here in Spain and we've just switched hotels and so we've come over to the Don Pablo uh, here in Torremolinos and we're actually going to go play golf today, hopefully. We're meant to be going to play at Torre Gabrada today, however. By the way, this corner balcony I've got, now this does look pretty, look at this, all the way around. Room is pretty amazing already. I've just made that mess. It's just look at the draw. When we go away, it's perfect sunshine, and before we're here, it's perfect sunshine. But we've managed to play because the courses around here just dry so quick, even when they do get wet. But if Torre Cabrada has managed to clear, I would be amazed. I would be amazed. But we're going to go head down, catch up with the guys again, and then head over to the golf course. Just got to get my stuff together. Mm. Don't want to get my hopes up, but Play it. The sun is trying to creep out. It's trying to. It's trying to. Andy's being Mr. Positive. He thinks we're going to be playing. He thinks we're going to get out straight out there. No preferred lies. That's his rule. 27 holes. Wow, okay. Done a little guided tour of the, uh, of the clubhouse here. Coming up onto the roof of the clubhouse. That's the view. Wow. Out on the course, and I cannot believe how dry it is. I can't believe it's open. I can't know mine as dry as it is. I'm gonna have a little, I think we'll have a little cheeky nearest to pin comp, and then I'm gonna get some vlogs done as well. And it's just beautifully warm now. A little bit close, a little bit sweaty. That's fine. Sun's gonna be coming out as well pretty soon. Course here looks stunning. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> It is time, it is the moment that I've been waiting all my life for. It's time to have a hole in one. It's gonna happen. 90 yard par three. And Not I happening. think this is the only chance I've got. We can't quite see the pin from where we are, so I've got a camera down on the green. We almost should go off the yellow tee because you can see it. I don't think anyone would give me a 60 yard <laughs> hole in one. He remembers. Oh, nice little chip. Oh, that was a good shot. Oh, he's drawing it in. Chances, chances. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> that was a good effort. That was a good shot. Oh. That could have easy scored. But guess back what? In there. You've not done it. I've not done it. Oh. You just drop kick that. Just a little too tough, that. It is not come out well. That's just absolutely typical, isn't it? <laughs> Right guys, that is golf done at Torre Cabrada and still stunned the fact that that course was open. Still stunned the fact it didn't look like a drop of rain had hit it, apart yeah. from maybe one area where a ball plucked in the rough. And that was it, that was it. Just amazing, amazing. And what a course. Condition-wise, brilliant, but 
the layout of that track was brilliant. Not even the, yeah. <laughs> Class taking us to the rooftop. He's had enough of us, he's gonna extract some information. <laughs> well, if we didn't know, wow, we'd have brought our trunks. Yeah. This is one of the best hotels here. How terrifying would that be? So that's the cathedral, and that's like part of the castle there, and is there another castle on top? So we didn't realize that Malaga was kind of filled with Roman ruins. Plaid Blessing bought a flat oh, and they found Roman ruins on the foundation so it's been delayed. This is the, well, oh, I suppose a little amphitheatre, Roman. Behind it, that's a Moorish castle. And then behind that is another castle as well. It's like, wow, wow. So a restaurant for the Eating dinner by Antonio Banderas' uh, Baron and the daughter in here is this stuff. And just like that, what an absolutely amazing morning. Uh, this corner room, I'm actually on the top floor here. Top floor, didn't realize. Uh, the corner room here now makes so much sense. What a morning, it is a beautifully warm, beautiful day. A little bit more like what it's here all the time uh, from what people say, so it's nice to see that beaming sunshine. It's been great to get the three days of golfing as well. It's time to go home now though, all the way back to Blighty. Fingers crossed. That is still out. Healthiest breakfast I think I'll have. Matthew, how are your thoughts on Malaga? Malaga was beautiful. Really beautiful. Top six cities? Yeah. How does it rank? What number? Probably number three. Number three? That's a lot higher than I actually imagined you'd yeah. say. I thought you'd go with number five. Yeah. Number three? Yeah, really. I would have liked to spend more time there. Andy, what are your thoughts on Malaga, mate? Surprised. Surprised, yeah. Really I think surprised. Surprised is the right word. I, I didn't know what to expect and I was impressed. I always seen it as an airport Malaga. Gone into there and yeah. gone off elsewhere, but I did not expect that last night. It was, it was good. Yeah, amazing. I loved it. Beautiful. Literally one of the biggest breakfast rooms I think I've ever seen, ever. Andy, what is, uh, what is this I see? Stitched into your carry bag. That's a bit much. Just to make sure I know which one. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, I'm, oh, right, okay, yeah. I'm all, I'm all over that one again, but. And that is it, home. Back to Blighty. And as predicted, it's not been quite as nice um, as it was when we left Spain, but it's been such an amazing trip. Um, just hanging out with Matt and with Andy as well. Really good company. And just thank you to Glencore for getting us over there for that new experience because that part of Spain, Costa del Sol, I wouldn't have gone there to play golf, to be honest. I'd have gone there for other entertainment. Um, and it was nice to see a side of that part of the country which I've not really seen before. And the course is over there. We're gonna do a full recap and a full review show, so stay tuned for that. But I have to say I was so surprised, and not just by that, but just by the, the surrounding areas. Malaga, beautiful, it's amazing. I'm desperate to go back there. I'm good today, I only spent one evening. The walk that we did, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've already seen the video of that. It was absolutely superb, and Marbella, just really pretty and beautiful, and the places that we ate at as well. If you want to, um, if you want to go expand, 
um, your culinary boundaries and probably waistline. Yeah, I would, um, I would recommend it. But for now, this is the last daily vlog. I'm gonna round it up and say thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go check out Andy and Matt as well, and then go check out Glencore. Everything is linked in the description below, from Simply Shuttles, who are absolutely awesome, all the way through to Costa del Sol Tourist Board. Everyone we dealt with over there, it was, it was awesome. It was a real pleasure to actually deal with them. So I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what the course holds come out like as well. So make sure you stay subscribed. Like the video, let me know what you think. See you next time.